So I'm Joshua and we're here in beautiful BC, Vancouver, uh, with Hannah, uh, who will be representing uh, Canada at the Commonwealth Games coming up uh, this summer. So welcome and uh, why don't you share with us uh, a little bit about what you're looking forward to in the next few months, um, your training schedule and, and what's involved uh, in representing Canada at these uh, big games. I'm just really get, uh, getting excited to go on tour. We're leaving for um, England in a couple days. Um, and it's kind of like the preparation for the Commonwealth Games. And we don't really get to play a lot of the teams that are over in Europe all the time. So getting that chance to really um, get to know our opponents early is really exciting for us. So That's wonderful. And I hear that you were on the Rick Mercer report as well. How yeah. did that experience go? It was really great. You know, Rick is a hilarious guy. I mean, on and off the on and off the videotape, he's just hilarious. So, um, getting that opportunity to get nas nationwide exposure as well is always great for our sports. It's so small. So wonderful. So obviously, a lot of training and work has gone into this point uh, where you are now. So maybe share with our. Uh, viewers where this all started your interest in uh, your playing in field hockey so how did that start uh, was it a, a young age or a particular uh, event that happened or? yeah so we actually my family are good family friends with a girl who played both for UBC and on the junior national team and so when I was younger I went out to see one of her games and after the game I actually found an old stick discarded in the garbage so I picked that up up and demanded that my parents enroll me in the sport so I really have to credit um, my family friend to getting me involved in the sport to start with so great and some specific details on your training and exercising practice um, to be to an excel in this sport do you have a place that favorite place that you like to train um, well we do train out of right field um, for all of our on-field training, but it's really great just to go out into specific Spirit Park, go for runs. Here in Vancouver. Kind of Here in Vancouver, right. yeah. yeah. Um, get in touch with nature and just kind of get off the pitch for a while is always nice. And do you have a uh, nutrition, food um, uh, approach, strategy, favorite uh, sport energy drinks, or I mean there's so many options out there from Gatorade and Power Bars, and I know I'm interested in, how do you choose the best um, energy supplement? It's really difficult as you said there's so many different types that you can choose from. Um, I think a lot of it I go off of is we have a nutritionist that we use for our team and in the past we have been using a lot of the Gatorade stuff um, and then off field I would normally just make my own smoothies with maybe a little protein and some fruits and I don't know just mix it up for everyday stuff but do you have other uh, interests and activities outside of field hockey, or does this um, take up most of your time? Well, 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 it is a lot of my time spent on the field, but um, I do love just going out for bike rides and just going for runs and that kind of thing. And of course, going for sushi because, uh, um, yeah, in Vancouver it's a big it's thing a here. So, yeah, that's really great. Great, and for the Commonwealth connection and representing Canada, what's your um, connection to, to the Commonwealth Games or Commonwealth? Um, well, I actually, in, I think it was 2002, my parents took a sabbatical um, from their work and we actually, our family moved to Australia for a year. So that was a really awesome experience and that was kind of where I got more involved in field hockey because it's such a big sport down there. So that was an awesome opportunity for me. Do you have any advice for young people um, your age that are in sports and um, dealing with challenges of interests and career and what to do? It's definitely a really hard decision, especially if you're trying to choose between sports or they're trying to make you decide, you know, what, kind, what sport you want to do if you're at a high level already. I think the main thing is just follow what your gut is telling you. If you're having fun playing that sport, um, you just got to stick with it. So. Excellent. What goes through your mind when you think of uh, where you're going in the next few days, you're going over to Scotland, the UK. Um, what goes through your mind when you're representing Canada? Um, 
that's a really tough question. Um, I just think it's so much pride representing your country, being able to wear that maple leaf for every game. You know, not a lot of people get to do that, so I really just cherish all those m moments that I can. Every time I step on the field, it's just so exciting for me. Did you have a sports hero growing up? Um, I think one of the major sports heroes growing up for me was Clara Hughes. Um, she not only participated in the summer, but also the Winter Olympics, so I thought that was really awesome. And she had to go overcome a lot of injuries and stuff, so. And did you think that was a part of um, your motivation, inspiration to excel in your sport, or uh, were there other things that, that really motivated you to excel? I think so. I think even just watching some of the Olympic Games and other, thing, other sports on television, um, when you get exposed to that kind of thing, you really just look up to them as role models and you want to be exactly like them in some ways. Um, there have definitely been other motivators. Um, I, my parents, I have to credit them to a lot of my motivation. They've really pushed me to become the best player I can be thus far. But That's wonderful. And uh, with the games coming up, is there anything you want to share with the fans in Canada who will be cheering you on? No, I just hope that they tune in and support us all, uh, no matter what happens throughout the tournament. So, Excellent. Well, thank you so much for sharing with us your insights and advice. And we're with Hannah here uh, at the My Commonwealth Learning in Vancouver. And we wish you all the best uh, as you compete and represent Canada at the Commonwealth Games. Awesome. All the best. Thank you. Thank you.